Hello everyone and welcome to this channel. Today I am going to talk about personal computer and early CPUs since 1975. You may ask why 1975? How PC is related to that year? Let's find out. In this slide at right, we can see the front cover of a magazine, Popular Electronics, January 1975 edition. Below the magazine name, there is a very interesting information. It reads, Project Breakthrough. Then I mark two lines, line one and line two. Let's discuss last two words of second line. It reads commercial models. It referred to commercial model of computers. Today, we can buy a computer and place it on a desk. However, in 1975, we couldn't. Why? At that time, a computer was big in size. It was heavy, very expensive, over like 100,000 US dollars. So only big companies could own computers at that time. For example, a computer named ENIAC took 1800 square feet space and it was very heavy, 30 tons. Now we talk about the first line. It reads world's first mini computer kit. Electronics hobbyist at the time always wanted own computer. Finally, in 1975, for the first time, they could have own computer. They could buy Altair 8800 mini computer kit and assemble the kit into a computer. In 1975, it cost $621. The price is equal to $3,700 today. After the kit was assembled into a computer, it looked like below photos. You could add a monitor, floppy disk drive, and a keyboard to the computer. It had a CPU, Intel 8080, and today, we will learn more about CPUs used for computer. By now, we found Altair 8800 was the first mini computer. What about its CPU, Intel 8080? Was it the first CPU designed by Intel? Answer is no. Then what was the first one? Let's find out. It was a 4-bit CPU known as 4004. It was designed in 1971 for calculator. 4004 had 2300 transistors. The CPU speed was 750 kHz. After 4004, Intel developed another 4-bit CPU, which was 4040. And it was the last 4-bit CPU. Then Intel moved on to design 8-bit CPU. Upgrading to 8-bit CPU, why did Intel want to upgrade? Upgrading was needed to transfer more information and to access more devices and memory. The internal design of a CPU depended on binary number system. Using binary number system, a 4-bit CPU such as 4004 can access 16 devices or 16 memory locations. If the CPU is 8-bit, it can access 256 devices or 256 memory locations. So higher bit number means more information can be processed. Over years, bit number continued to rise. 
at present we have 64 bit CPU. We will know more about those in future videos. In 1972, Intel developed the first 8-bit CPU known as 8008. You can see a photo of the 8-bit CPU below at right. It looks similar to the 4-bit CPU at left. Then the company Intel kept working to improve it. For 8008, there are some interesting information. Its original name was 1201 and it was designed for a customer. The customer changed plan and asked Intel to keep the design. So they did not want to pay Intel about 50,000 US dollars. Intel agreed. They changed the product name from 1201 to 8008 and set the price $120 per chip. Intel sold many 8008 CPU to Seiko from Japan for their calculator products. Then in 1974, Intel developed another 8-bit CPU, Intel 8080, and it was great at the time. Next year, in 1975, another US company, MITS, developed Altair 8800 mini computer kit using this 8080 CPU. The company MITS first used the term personal computer to promote their mini computer kit. With 8080, business was very good for Intel. 8080 was very popular in computer applications. Intel sold them a lot. It had variants, same as we find variants for latest Intel or AMD CPUs. The variant 8080B was running up to 3.125 MHz. It had a compatible operating system named as CPM. CPM stands for Control Program for Microcomputers. This Intel CPU had some limitations. It needed more power and more support circuits. So Intel decided to improve it. So what was after 8080 CPU? That will be Intel 8085. 8085 was introduced in March 1976. The five in the part number has special meaning. It means 8085 used only 5 volt power. This improvement helped to design computer in simpler and less expensive way. Intel 8086 was one big step or improvement in CPU design. If considering a serial number, 8086 could be seen just one step up from 8085. However, in terms of CPU, 8086 was a huge upgrade from 8085. How? 8085 was a 8-bit processor, but 8086 was a 16-bit processor. That means it could access more memory locations. 8086 was released in 1978 and it became very successful. It was so good that IBM wanted to use this chip in their computer. However, there was a problem. IBM must have two suppliers of same CPU. So Intel had to offer another company to become second supplier. Who was their second supplier for their CPU? It was AMD, Advanced Micro Devices Incorporated. With 8086, Intel started their most successful x86 computer architecture. 
What was the next CPU after 8086? Was that 8087? No. Intel developed a floating point processor to support 8086 CPU and named it 8087. Then they continue making next CPU, which was 8088. Intel 8088 CPU was last CPU with four digit number. It was introduced in June 1979 and it was used by IBM for their PC products. It got variant as well. Early version of CPU was running at five megahertz speed. But the variant 8088-2 had a speed of eight megahertz. We learned previous 8086 CPU had a co-processor named 8087. What about 8088? Yes, it had input-output or I.O. co-processor. The processor name was Intel 8089. Here is a list of early CPUs, year of release, part number, and packaging information. CPU names are in far left column. In this video, we have learned about those CPU with four numbers in the name. I put a check mark next to the name. In next video, I will talk about rest of the CPUs in the list. So far, we have learned about CPUs developed by Intel only. Apart from Intel, was there any company making CPU? Yes. Since the introduction of Intel's 4004 CPU, many companies developed CPU for personal computer, such as Fairchild, Siemens, NEC, AMD, Motorola. Over time, many companies dropped out from PC market except AMD. At present, AMD is very successful in PC market. I hope you found this video useful. Please subscribe this channel and watch upcoming learning videos. Also feel free to share this video with your friends using Facebook, Messenger or WhatsApp. Thank you for watching.